the letter D has three really important qualities in it. It contains our ability to deal with confrontation. It also has our sensitivity to others. And it has our creating our sense of boundaries, which is so important when we're with other people. The letter D has a beautiful shape, which says these exact qualities so perfectly. It starts with an I am stroke, which starts at the very tip top of the upper zone and comes down to the baseline, as you can see right here. And once it hits the baseline, what this says is I'm a spiritual being gathering gifts from heaven and I'm bringing them down to earth, which is represented by the baseline. I'm bringing them down to earth to use here on the earthly plane. And then the second stroke of the uppercase letter D is this giant backward C shape, which is actually quite wide. And it comes, it says, I'm, I'm creating a space for myself to be. I'm claiming the territory that I need, setting my boundaries. And then once it hits that I am stroke, it comes forward with this stroke, which is this blessing, this sharing, this attitude of gratitude and opening to others. The lowercase letter D begins at the top of the middle zone and forms a very sweet oval shape. Once it's done with that, it goes, it shoots up into the upper zone to this very tip top of the upper zone. And then that loop is retraced back down, hitting the baseline and then reaching out with the sweet little garland to meet the next letter. The lowercase D it's very important that the stem has no loops in it. The loops that we form in the upper zone are like an antenna or a periscope looking around, gathering information about what do other people think of us, which really is none of our business. What other people think of us has more to do with who they are and what they believe than it has to do with us. So we're going to eliminate that. What other people think of us really has very little to do with ourselves. And uh, the less we collect that data from other people, the better off we are in life. It prevents us from being people-pleasing. It uh, insulates us against uh, always trying to worry what the public opinion about us uh, is. Instead, going inward for the answers where the answers, the true answers, actually belong, going inside. So this is in the, the, the stem of the lowercase d. So what we have here is this beautiful picture, the uppercase D being quite wide and giving us that room and those boundaries we need, the lowercase D being very clear and defined. Uh, what we find in our lives when we have a very healthily formed D is we find that when confrontation comes up, we stop viewing it as a personal attack on us and we're curious well what is the other person actually trying to say what do they mean what is the nature of their conflict with us rather than immediately and instantly responding to it as if they said some form of truth about us it gives us that space i, I like to liken it to a clock face and this impulse or this attack or this criticism comes to us from say from the direction of the number three on the clock. And it comes in and we immediately react, no response, just a react back. Comes in at three, we react at three. Now when we actually are able to form the D in a very healthy way, what we find is our whole repertoire of responses increases. So in that moment when that person says that thing which feels like an attack, our criticism, we can stop and have that space in there and then respond. And we might, might respond on that clock face anywhere from 12 to 5 or even more responses, but we have that space in there which allows us to reflect and respond rather than react. Also find that with a very healthy form D, what we have is we have really healthy boundaries. Now many people have said that healthy boundaries are the very basis of a good relationship. When we have healthy boundaries, the other person is able to relate to us and our job is to teach them how to treat us. And with healthy boundaries, we can do that in a very effective way. So sensitivity to others, boundaries, and skill in handling confrontation, those are the three qualities in the very broadest sense that help us, that, are, that we find support us when we form a healthy letter D.